out your lines. You remember how to get on the boat? Yeah. Four. Very close. I am gonna go free diving with Kate right now. Over this course of this trip, I've been getting better at free diving. I mean, I was terrible when I first started. Terrible. I think I had some past trauma or something I had to work through. But I'm getting a little bit better, and uh, Kate's gonna go down with me and give me some new techniques and things to practice. I guess this is a training dive, you could say. What skills are you gonna show me when we free dive? Uh, breath holding. <laughs> I don't know what to but say. But how, how do I get better at okay. breath holding? We're gonna do yoga at the bottom. That's what I'm going to show you. It's going to be great. All right. So all the gear you need for free diving is a mask and snorkel or snorkel is optional and then a weight belt. So you stay at the bottom. So the way you keep your mask from not fogging is you actually have to spit in it. Finn and Jack and them say the greener, the cleaner, which is so true. And you just rub it with your finger like this. You dunk it and then put it on your face. Oh my gosh, my hair is so annoying. I wear a headband in the water now too because my hair is getting way too long. Do I look like an 80s tennis player? Twice as, long, twice as long as I would. All right, Kate, why are you better at free diving than me? I don't know, because I, I live on a boat. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, what are you doing differently? Well, I'm not doing anything differently. It's such a weird sport because you can't look at what they're doing and then copy what they're doing. It's all in the head, it's all a mental game. Do you get chest con like chest heaves. contractions, heaves? Those are heaves. Do you get so, those? Yeah, the basically you can push past heaves and that's how you get better at free diving. Ah, uh, I, I think just... the heaves that I get are just like from my body freaking out. I don't think it's actually running out of air. No, it's just, yeah, the reaction to the CO2. carb dox. Yeah. My body has a very low tolerance then to the CO2 buildup. <laughs> all right, we're trying to swim all the way under the water under the bow now. Let's see if we can do it. I feel like I got a little bit better. I was hitting like a 40 second breath hold, which is pretty good for me. In the beginning, I could barely even get like 10 or 15 seconds. It's not very deep here either. It's only like four meters, which is around 15 feet. So you can get down there pretty easy. What a day I had. 
my gosh. The wind picked up to around 20 knots and the wind's gonna be picking up for the rest of the week. But today we got a kiteboard for the first time and it was so epic. I finally was going upwind. I was staying on course. The only thing I need to work on now is just recovering my board. So when I fly off and my board is behind me, I need to be able to get upwind and tack up to it to get it. And that was the only thing I was struggling with. But it is so fun. It feels awesome when you're leaning back and being pulled by the wind, it's the best feeling. Can't wait to get better at it. Now I get to see the sunset. Boat life is incredible, my gosh. The Caribbean lives up to the hype, I'll tell you that much. Well, plans have changed like crazy recently on the boat and we've actually had to miss out on the northern end of the Bahamas due to weather. We would have had to stay there for over a week and a lot of us had plans back at home we had to attend, so that wasn't gonna work. We're actually pulling into port right now I know you can't see it, but yeah, I mean, I feel like the trip ended so soon. It was crazy. Once we get to Miami, I'm gonna stay on the boat for a couple days with the kids. I think Keith and Renee are heading up to Montana, and then I'm gonna go back home. Life gets pretty different from there. When's the last time you were back in the States? We spent uh, New Year's of 2022 back in the States, so since 2022, like two years. Wow. Two years. Does it feel weird? A little, not really. Jack, you haven't been in the States in two years? Hi. Does it feel weird? It feels more weird that this is like, the end of the sailing Zatara era than anything. That's weird. what feels weird. End of a chapter. Mm hmm. Now, this feels pretty weird for me to come back after being gone for almost two months, but the Zatara family hasn't been back home for two years, which is crazy. And I'm here to experience it, which is awesome. Definitely an end of an era for them, and for me a little bit. Pretty good place to cut you at. We're pulling into port right now. Gonna dock off at the marina, and then I think we're gonna get some Chipotle or Chick-fil-A, either one. I really want Chipotle though. What right here? Say anything I want here. I think we got out every single fender we could to dock up to this marina just because they're gonna be leaving the boat here for quite a while. So we wanna make sure it's all protected and all loose ends are tied up. Oh gosh. First time getting off the boat in America. <laughs> that was the most flamboyant jump. What does it feel like? Feels good. I'm ready to eat some uh, American food. Yeah, I'd yep. I'm ready to get some real food. Right now we're real going. unhealthy food. Right now we're fixing to check if what it takes to get like an Uber food delivery here. Uber Eats. Because you know they've got to go through the logistics and the gate to get in here. So we're just gonna yeah, we're we're locked in here in the marina. See here for some reason. It's like they know we just got home. We got a whole fireworks show just for us. Dude, those helicopters just come out of nowhere. There have been so many planes here and helicopters compared to everywhere else we've been. It's like the sky is not safe. These dudes holding hands. Brothers, unconditional love. Brothers do not hold hands. Yo, dude. 
We're headed to Chipotle right now. Just came from the skate park. Just going through downtown Miami and it is so cool here. Such a fun city to ride through and explore. Oh, I'm so excited to eat, dude. I'm hungry. How is it? a totally different experience from where we've been at in the islands. You feel a lot smaller here in a big city and I prefer the island way better than in a city. Oh, that's okay, I'm done. There's a stupid. I think he passed out. Oh, true. We gotta get him out close. Oh my gosh, yeah. Get him. <laughs> I'm packing up because I'm leaving the boat. No. It's a sad day, but I'm only gonna be gone for like a week. They're all coming to my house, which I'm stoked about, and it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna do some cool trips, but I won't be living on their boat anymore for a while. This will be sad. I know I'll be back though. Oh yeah. I don't know why I'm crouched like this. Kinda right, gotta, looks uncomfortable. I gotta finish packing. It's gonna be sad to leave this small space. Oh my gosh. Hey. I'm actually getting sad now. Oh gosh. My Uber's awaiting me. <sighs> Last time I go up these steps. I'm really not all that sad because I'll see you guys in a week and I'll see them in two weeks. So it's not like cool. it's not like I'm really leaving. Hug. Oh, wait. Bye. Bye, Renee. Bye. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. See you in two weeks. Oh. Jack. So good. It's gonna be weird not seeing you. No hug. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Oh, you're welcome. It's gonna be so oh, much. Oh, so so much. Much. Oh. Uh, my final steps off the boat. I don't know, just fell in the water right there. <laughs> I'm taking the one wheel. I'm actually gonna change the tire on the one wheel. That's why I'm taking it to my house. All right, guys. Bye, man. See you, dude. Love you. Love you. Luke. Dude. Dude. It's been real. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. It does feel like change is happening, though, in my life. <sighs> that was a pretty cool chapter, though, I'll tell you that. Just got out of the Uber and got to the train station. We'll see how this new train is. It's called the Bright Line. I'm about to get kicked off this thing. Okay. Ooh, I got kicked off. Officially on the train, headed back home, and it's hitting me for the first time that I've just left the boat. Pretty crazy that I was with them for two months across the whole freaking ocean, which is wild. And now I'm headed back home to my family. There's a lot going through my brain right now, as you could possibly imagine, but I'm ready. I'm ready for a new adventure. We'll see what happens. And just like that, I'm back in Orlando. Woo! Oh, I'm nervous to see my family. I'm excited though. They're currently getting some housework done right now, so I actually don't have a bed tonight, and I might sleep in my car. We'll see. Or the laundry room. Or the laundry room, but it'll be an experience. I'm home though. Yeah. I worked very quickly. I checked on Monday. They're all watching my video right now. Look. 
Well, that was pretty fun. I just had all my immediate family over for family dinner as a welcome back party for me. But we watched my YouTube video, which was funny. It was a good time seeing all of them. Love them. <sighs> I am officially home. It is so weird to be back here. Oh my gosh, after being gone for so long. It's so crazy. I'm so mentally drained today from all the big change that's been happening and being back home, leaving the bow, all of it. So I'm going to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm hopefully refreshed and we'll see what the day brings. I need your car. Right here, pull right here. All right, all right, so Instagram Luke, L-U-K-E, Bosworth, B-O-S. W O R. Yep. Got wow, you. That's them down there. Got you, cool. brother. Thank you, man. No, See no ya. Problem, that was funny. The construction worker wanted to know who we were because I'm filming with the camera now. Love little interactions like that. I need to go stretch my legs.